Tennessee Titans are at Super Bowl odds of plus 5,000. Their odds to win the AFC are at plus 280. Their odds to win the AFC South are at plus 450. And their season win total is set to eight and a half games. If there is a battle for the least exciting and mediocre franchise in pro sports, then you'd have to put the Titans at around minus 150 favorites. It's pretty much down to them and the Memphis Grizzlies for this esteemed honor. The Titans have gone 9-7 the past three seasons and did not have a single player on the NFL All-Pro team for 2018, and not even one player on the All-Pro second team. Head coach Mike Vrabel is not a terrible coach, and there may be some reason for optimism for the offense provided they can try and break out of their shell this season and take a step up from being just an average team. Taking a look at the offense, from an efficiency standpoint, this offense comes in at 22nd overall in DVOA from Football Outsiders and ranks, for the most part, in the 25th range for both yards per game and points per game. The only metric they are above average in comes from their run game. They'll have Derrick Henry returning along with the change of pace running back Deion Lewis. Outside of those two, there is a lack of both depth and options. Their success will once again be dependent on the development of quarterback Marcus Mariota, who has underperformed the last couple of years. He's shown flashes of brilliance and he's been hit by injuries, but if this team is to excel, then they'll need him to become a top-tier quarterback. As a precaution, they did a smart thing and brought in quarterback Ryan Tannehill to be the backup in case of injury or poor play. Corey Davis is their top offensive threat but only managed two 100-yard games last year. With the return of a healthy Delaney Walker, the new receivers, and a new OC, we may see some more points in 2019. The defense is where the strength of this team lies, but it does so without fanfare and without much attention. There are no big games and nothing in particular that they are great at, statistically speaking. They're eighth in yards allowed per game and actually third in points allowed at just under 19. Bringing them back to reality slightly is their weighted DVOA ranking from Football Outsiders, which has them at 19th. Wesley Woodyard leads the team in tackles and is their mainstay linebacker, while Jarrell Casey is the pro bowler and sack leader. They are middle of the road in sacks, interceptions, and forced fumbles. The Titans have one of the more difficult schedules in the league at number 9 toughest looking at last year's wins and number 7 toughest looking at this year's projected win totals. All the teams in the AFC South are near the top of both ranking systems. Their final five games of the season are a challenge and will be the decider if they have a shot at the playoffs as they play at Indianapolis and versus New Orleans and then play divisional rival Houston twice. Once again, Mike Rabel is not a bad coach, and Marcus Mariota cannot be written off just yet. But we can't see him getting to nine wins with this schedule, so we'll definitely hop on the under eight and a half games. There's been some early money already on the under, so some lines have moved to eight. This is probably an eight-win team with a higher probability of winning seven games than nine. If you're a Titans fan and you're counting on them to win at least one of those road underdog spots versus out-of-division teams, it may be a better choice to pick them to win outright in one of those matchups when you like the spot.